everybody and welcome to Armageddon's next episode for the Armageddon YouTube channel. Now today sadly we're not going to be talking about anything here in the Cold War era part of our museum. Instead we're going to be uh, talking about engine lifts that we've been having to do this week and all the work we've been doing on the engines. Now we've got currently Danny and Tim, they've been working on our engines this week. Danny's been working on the AFB 432 engines that we've been using and we've also got a pack lift which you'll see in a bit in the video. And we've also got Tim who's been working currently on the uh, C1 engine which is getting ready for our sexton. Uh, but we have also done quite an interesting one on our Lee, uh, the only Lee actually in the current uh, country currently. And we've actually had a pack lift done on that, which if you see, although it works, it's quite fun doing it. So be sure to stay and make sure you don't miss that one. And now we're going to get the Lee moving hopefully in just a second. Okay, it shouldn't be long. There we go. It's just starting to get pushed now. There we are. We're just moving it out of the way a little bit, just so then we can actually get the engine out of the back a bit easier. As you can see, the engine for this Lee is actually in the back of it. It's going to be uh, quite fun to see if we can actually get it out in one piece. Okay, so we decided against that because obviously we have the roof above us. We thought we might accidentally hit the uh, new workshop roof. So instead what we're going to do is drag the Lee outside and then we will uh, get the engine out through the back there once we're out. And here it goes. Now the engine we're going to be getting out of this Lee here is actually a radial engine, which was originally designed for aircraft. So hopefully we'll be getting it out. It does weigh about half a ton, this one I believe does. So it's not going to be the easiest, but like I say, we should be able to get it done. And like I say, this is actually currently the only Lee in the country. So in the United Kingdom, this is the only one that we currently know of and that anyone we've asked knows of. There's a few grants in the country which are very similar to the Lee but are a bit different. Uh, there are a few, especially one down in Bovington, down south, the Tank Museum. But like I say, this is the only Lee in Great Britain at the minute of filming. And now for the fun part, getting this out of there. Okay, let's see how this goes. And here we go. <laughs> and there we go, you can see the uh, radial engine just there. Now that engine just there is part of the reason why uh, the Grant and the Lee and a lot of Shermans are actually such tall vehicles. Because as you can see it is quite a long engine, you know, quite a tall engine compared to a lot of others. So obviously you need a bit of clearance. And there it is. And then, this is where it came from. As you can imagine, this is going to be really fun to clean out. We're going to hopefully get it slotted in here just for safekeeping for the time being. Annoyingly, it is the, uh, the engine is the wrong way round and has already got a piece fitted to it, meaning we can't just easily slide in and fit onto this without taking that off. But obviously we've got to uh, set it down first so we can actually do that. And hopefully, if all goes to plan, it should just slide in. And there we go. And that, everyone, is how you get an engine out of a Lee. Exactly like that. So just behind me, we've got Tim here. He's going to start, hopefully, to get the uh, engine to turn over in just a second. First time we're doing this, so fingers crossed it will work. 
Okay, so here goes nothing. Now it may spark a little bit, but hopefully it should work. Like I said, this is the C1 engine, this is. So here we go. And there we go. How'd you get the spark? So Tim, was that good? Yep, that's better. We even got a spark. Engine that's going to be going to the sexton. And so we're currently just trying to uh, get it running. It's turning over, we're just trying to keep it running at the minute. So Tim's <laughs> So we're currently trying to get the engine running. Hopefully it should get running in just a second. So it's turning over and it should with a bit of throttle keep it going. So the 04 decided to get stuck in the gateway. We knew she had a few issues, but we wanted to get her out into this field before we worked on her. But typical, she breaks down in the gateway. So we've had to call the cavalry and we're hopefully gonna get her out of here. So currently we're trying to get the uh, engine out of the 04 Alpha here. So we're doing a pack lift as you can see. It's quite a difficult job, especially because they only give you about an inch around the whole engine to actually get it out of the tank. The reason we're getting this one out is so we can take it down to the workshop and work on it as the heat exchanger gone, meaning it's the uh, oil's getting into the water. As you can see, there is not much room at all. It's always a bit of a task to get these engines uh, sorted and get them out as you've got to disconnect everything. Usually takes us about an hour and a half to get it disconnected and about another 10 minutes or so to get the engine out. And there you go. As easy as that. Full of water. That's why it goes this colour. And now we're putting one of these spare engines we have back into 04. It's an extremely tight fit, but eventually it will go into hit. Biggest problem we find with these gearboxes is that they always seem to leak out the front output seal. Um, so we're going to take it off, we'll hopefully strip the torque converter down, get a new seal in the output shaft, in the input shaft, sorry, rebuild the torque converter back up, and hopefully we can put it back on and uh, stop it from leaking. It should be good to go in another one. So, thank you very much. If you did enjoy that video, please do leave a like and comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more episodes that we'll be releasing every single week, hopefully. Like I said, we've got a lot more things to show you all, especially because we've got the new season where we'll be actually running tanks with customers coming up soon, hopefully starting in April, and obviously we've got all the extra parts of our museum just behind me, like the Centurion, we've also got the Sherman, and many more pieces of kit that I just love to talk about.